turns into UFC Heavyweight Showdown. All right, so we get another look at this high-level wrestler here tonight, DC. When it comes to the grappling, the wrestling, fighting this guy makes for a really hard night at the office. It makes for a hard night because the moment he gets close to you, it's like a fly stuck in flypaper. He sticks to you like glue. He moves from position to position seamlessly. He possesses great takedowns from the clinch, from a nice inside trip to a bear hug or a throw. He's just one of those guys that the moment he comes into contact with you, a lifetime of wrestling has shown him an amazing ability to get you to the floor. Yeah, all of that one-on-one -on -one competition, as you mentioned, great in transition. Big spot, needless to say, for him here tonight. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the feet. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponents. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yeah. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds! in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of five wins, three losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Regina, Saskatchewan, Canada. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the former UFC heavyweight champion, And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 187 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, the Sniper. All right, group of rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, not fight. So here we go, this highly anticipated fight is now underway. Looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. Right. One guy is known for his diverse attack on the feet, the other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponents in danger from the very start of the grappling exchange. Nice work by the man here against the fence, continuing to stay busy and continuing to land. Continuing to land, continuing to impose his will on his opponent. Oh, really uses his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attack. Uppercut lands for him. Oh, big damaging knees here to the body. Two minutes remain in the round. Ooh, blocks the shot. Big 
big kick land. Lands the right hand. Check these low leg kicks. 90 seconds and counting here in our opening round. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here, and they separate. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. And he landed the right hand there. Just out of range with that left hook. Oh, and a nice jab by him there, and that's gonna give him a nice double leg takedown attempt there, and you gotta think that's something that's gonna give him confidence moving forward in this fight. A lot of confidence when it happens that easily. He took a shot, he got a takedown. What now will stop him from doing it over and over again? 45 seconds remain in the round. Back to the feet now. Great punch landed with so much power. He's able to slip the left there. Lands a glancing right hand upstairs. Another punch to the head. there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming or he will batter and screws you with that single strike. Right. The horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, DC, let's look at some of the highlights from the last round. Lots of the replay guys to choose from. Yeah, man, these guys stood on a quarter in the middle of the octagon. Take one to give one. Over and over, each guy landed, and they both landed very well over the course of that first round. All right, DC, second round is getting underway. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always good of you. You have very talented fighters. Sometimes it's very even, as we saw in round number one. Oh. And there's another takedown attempt. Oh, there's the head kick, it's blocked. When you're in the pitch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Ooh, big shot land. And both guys really throwing with authority. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body, and eventually him switch it up with a big knee to the head. Let's go. Oh, nice slip there. It sounds simple, right? Get and don't get hit. But this guy's defense has been sharp tonight. Cat and mouse. You got to play cat and mouse. All right, so he finally gets the takedown here. He kept on trying, stayed committed. He told us before the fight, at some point, I'm gonna be able to take him down, and that's exactly the way it played out. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Throwing that jab, no good. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. Might as well use it. 
big liver kick lands under the elbow. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, looks like he's trying to set up the takedown. There's the attempt. Lifts the body there for good measure. All right, some really grueling work here in the clinch. Both fighters really struggling to gain a dominant position. That happens whenever you understand the position. Both know exactly what they need to do. And when both fighters are trying to do the same thing, it's very, very difficult to get the desired result. All right, so a huge round for him there. That head kick probably would have had me out for good. The guy survives to see another round. Yeah, but he'll go back to that. It landed so perfectly. He set it up great. He did a great job of mixing up the target early, going up high, and getting the desired result. All right, here we go with the start of another round. Pretty good previous two rounds, I thought. Yeah, it's been a very competitive fight for this point. Both guys have had their moments, especially in these last two rounds. We expect this body to get ahead, but they've both been so evenly matched. We're still right where we start. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Nice punch, man. Body kick. Wow, actually got the takedown. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Solid strike on the ground. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, Blocked. he gets denied. Blocked! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Under two minutes now to go in the round. What a punch. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Strike lands there. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Hit him with the well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Back and forth we go! And another big takedown. All right, half guard. Now, not a fighter you want in half guard against you for the bottom fighter. What's he need to do? He needs to secure his underhook. He's got to be fighting, fighting, fighting for underhook. One of the most key things you can do as a bottom fighter stuck in half guard is try to frame. You frame and push your opponent away from you by pushing. Oh! Knocked down pretty significantly near the end of the round. That will keep him in the fight. He goes back to the stool. We'll see to what extent he can recover. All right, let's check out some of the action DC. And how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper. And it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. You ready? Fight. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Oh, what a punch. Nice. 
and just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. All right hook attempt, no good. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Try to establish that jab. That was lightning fast, that right in. Punches we've seen all night. Huge straight punch lands, and he's got him hurt very bad. Now we're just going to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> nice straight punch. Oh, shoots for the double leg takedown. Look to be a good entry. Unable to finish the job. Beautiful kick. Nice job with that follow-up shot as well. And they separate. Ooh, head kick lands and he's hurt. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Nice loop and punch. Nice body kick. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. I mean, look at the commitment to kick. The bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. Now he has to fight one more strike to end the night. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. What a round! All right, so there's the end of the round. The cut on his lip is only getting worse. We've kept an eye on it tonight. The cut man is going to have to do some work here to try to prevent that from becoming more of a factor here in this next round. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. Final round, you ready? So here it is, folks, fifth and final round. Under three minutes remain in round five. Well, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh! Oh, pinpoint knee to the body. If you're trying to knock me out, you have one knee to the body. I'm done. Every time he tries to get close, he just drives that knee to the body. Great timing. All right, well, it's late in the fight. Time is of the essence, and when you're clearly losing and you know you need a finish, risk management goes out the window. Oh, yeah, no more risk management. Either get knocked out or you knock them out. One way or the other, you're gonna lose. You can lose. Whoa! He's out! It's over! It's over! What a fight! Yeah, there's another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighter saw it coming. So a big knockout for him here tonight 
on the biggest of stages. Well, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands. And give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliano calls a stop to this contest at one minute, 12 seconds of round number five. Playing the winner by knockout, the sniper! All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory.